starting off with the tiny lambda calculus, which only has functions. So far, we've managed to encode local binding, booleans, and numbers. It's starting to look like a real programming language. But the one thing that we're missing is we haven't shown that the lambda calculus is Turing complete. In order to do that, we need to encode recursion. So that's our goal now. Let's try to encode recursive functions. As an example recursive function, we will use factorial. So our goal right now is to encode factorial in the lambda calculus. Here's factorial in split, and we can define this using def because def makes the name fac on top available inside the function body. So def binds its own right-hand side, and it also binds in expressions afterwards. We don't yet have def in the lambda calculus. Instead, we'll work on something called let rec. So when we say let rec fac, that should make fac available on the right-hand side and then also available inside the body. Let rec has the overall shape of let, but it has the binding structure of a block plus a def. What we do have right now in lambda calculus is let, and with let alone, we can't encode recursion. This doesn't work because the fac here is only bound inside the body. It's not bound on the right-hand side. So this is our goal. Implement let rec, and we're going to do it as syntactic sugar for Mo. There's going to be three steps. Step one, encode fac and split without using let rec. At the end of step one, we're going to have a big encoding. So step two is going to be to extract the right-hand side from within that encoding, the kernel inside here that gives us factorial. And then step three is to put everything together, implement let rec as a parsing transformation for Mo. With the parsing transformation, we're going to be able to write reasonable looking source code. We have something that looks just like a factorial function. And this will expand into a big encoding that actually does the recursion for us in terms of lambda calculus. Before we begin, I want to point out this is difficult material. So we're going to follow lots of little steps one by one. Each step should make sense in the sense that, OK, well, here's the color blue. And OK, now here's the color brown. And oh, I guess there's some red over here. Each of those one by one steps should make sense. But how it fits into the bigger picture, this is hard to see. And so before we get into the details of the encoding, I want to say the big picture at the end is that we'll define a combinator called makerec, which takes in a function f, and then that is equal to f applied to makerec of f. Once we have this equation, then we can get f's all the way down. We can expand this as many times as we want. And this is the key to getting a recursive function inside the lambda calculus. We want an arbitrarily long telescope of a function like factorial applied to itself. And that's going to be our way of encoding recursion. One thing I definitely recommend to make the big picture easier to see is to follow along in Dr. Racket and try running code as you see it on the slides. Also, try to go ahead. If you think you can see where the argument is headed, then write new code in Dr. Racket and see if you can make, make rec on your own. And then if you get stuck, come on back to the slides.